Hi, welcome for RTL Online Trainings and Placement. In this session, I'm going to explain you what is position synchronization and where we will do this setup. What is the advantage of position synchronization? Because it's one of the important discussion in the interviews. And we are supposed to keep this position synchronization configuration in our profiles also. When we are working in the projects, we'll be doing this particular setup. So when, when, whenever we talk about position synchronization, we know that if we want to create a position, three mandatory objects are required. What are those three objects? One is business unit, another one is uh, job, another one is department. This is all three we have to define. And we'll also perform, uh, we will also perform a lot of other options while creating the business, while creating the position. Let's say we are going for the task here, manage positions. If we go for manage positions and try to create uh, this position here, and I'm selecting this US1 business unit, and I'm going to create the position HCL clerk. And here the system will ask us, this position is created under which job, under which department, and also under which location this is. Here we are going to specify the department name and job name. Here it is. And we'll also specify a lot of other options here. We will be specifying the location and who is the manager, proposed, approved, or single income and pooled, shared, the different types of FT, headcount, and budget details, and grade ladder, grades. This is all we are going to have it. So whenever we are hiring an employee, the moment when we choose the position name, this all fields I would like to go for automatically populate in the employee hiring process. That time we will go for position synchronization. That time we'll go for position synchronization. So position synchronization is basically to synchronize the position information at the time of hiring an employee in the fields. What are the fields? like this, job name, location name, department and manager, hiring, FTA, headcount, this hall budget and other information, whatever we have specified here. So where do we configure this position synchronization? This is used to create the positions, okay? Whenever we want to go for configure the position synchronization, we have to go to, at two levels we'll do it. One is at enterprise level, another one is at legal entity level. Let me show you first, at enterprise level. We are going to configure at enterprise level over here. It is. Let's go for this. Now go to FSM environment, go to the task, price, manage enterprise uh, HCM information. If we go down here, we'll find a lot of other setups here, but mainly it comes to our position synchronization configuration. See, while creating the position, we have seen just now manager, department, job, location, grade ladder, provision period. These all are attributes, right? Full-time or part-time, regular or temporary, assignment category like this. If it is enabled here, enable position synchronization, what happened? Whenever you are hiring an employee, automatically the system is going to populate these values. And if you check this checkbox, allow override at assignment. So whenever we are hiring an employee, in the assignments page, in the assignment page, you will have a facility to change the values. If you uncheck this checkbox, what happened? You cannot change those values, whatever, the attributes are populated. In the interviews, they will be asking you, I have enabled position synchronization, but location name is not going to be populated because you might have unchecked here. You might have unchecked. So the location will not be populated. So the location is not going to be populated. That could be the reason, okay? So here, uh, enterprise level will be doing this setup position synchronization. At the same time, we'll do it at legal entity level also. High priority is a legal entity. Whatever the setup we have done at legal entity level, that's going to be high priority. 
will go to the task legal entity HCM information and choose our legal entity. I'm going to select the scope US1 legal entity here. Here we can find legal employer details in this tab. We'll find the option here called position synchronization, this tab. So click on this, we'll find the information about position synchronization configuration for legal employer. And if you don't want to do anything, we will just enable it as use enterprise level. So whatever we have enabled at enterprise level, that is going to be applicable. So what is position synchronization? Synchronize the position attribute values automatically, yes or no, at the time of hiring employee. So the moment whenever we choose the position name, automatically that corresponding job, department, location, manager, active or inactive, these all our attributes will be populated. So if we don't want, we will go for disable the position synchronization the client is supposed to enter all those information manually. That's called position synchronization. We will call all these fields or attributes, position attributes. Now, if you want to do the setup for position synchronization, two levels we can do. One is at enterprise level, another one is at legal entity level. Whenever we do it at enterprise level, that values are applicable. If you don't configure in the legal entity level. If your client says that I have two multiple legal entities, but, but for this particular legal entity, I would like to have different uh, position synchronization option, then we can go for enable this setups over here. Okay, it's a very important question. In fact, uh, it's a very important setup we'll be doing in our real time also. Next videos, whenever I'm doing, I'll try to take one example. And we'll see, it takes some time, 30, 40 minutes it will take because we need to create a position and do some attribute values and enable at legal employer level first and then enable at enterprise level, hiring the employee and show that entire process. Next level, when I'm going to do it another video, I'll, I'll make one example. It takes 30, 40 minutes, the entire flow cycle. I'll definitely do it. Thank you. Please subscribe my channel to get latest updates about the Oracle Cloud and all these uh, trainings and placement. If you have anybody is looking for a placement in Oracle Cloud technologies as well as Oracle and Oracle applications, please keep informed to them. We are ready to place. We are based out in Hyderabad. Thank you.